So it looks like he might actually do it. Ted Cruz could win the Wisconsin presidential primary in the Republican side. Imagine Ted Cruz of Texas being the unifying figure in the Republican Party. Yes, that access of talk radio in Milwaukee, Scott Walker conservatives, and the refugees from Ben Carson and Marco Rubio all coming to Ted Cruz. I mean, think about it. John Kasich in this world of Republican politics is too liberal. Yes, they call him a welfare Republican. He balanced a budget in Ohio, cut taxes, helped create 500,000 jobs, but that doesn't matter. He took the Medicaid money, which was what Obama was offering the governors, and unlike Scott Walker, he didn't say no. But of course, Wisconsin was doing more things in Badger Care than Ohio was doing, never mind that Kasich is taking that money and taking his drug addicts out of jail, putting them in rehab, so he saves money on incarceration. In fact, his recidivism rate is only 27%. It's going down. But, you know, that stuff nobody cares about. Anymore, you've got to hit the hot-button issues. Be tough on immigration. Be pro-life across the board on abortion. A few other things, because moderates, even John Kasich was against putting police into the Muslim neighborhoods and banning Muslim travelers, like Trump says. Oh, no, that's not going to fly in the modern-day Republican Party. I would just say this in terms of the GOP race. Maybe Kasich could benefit a little bit from being the well-behaved, upbeat candidate alternative because Cruz and Trump go after each other, much like 92 in Wisconsin when Joe Shakota and Jim Moody battle each other by the neck and Russ Feingold came from the shadows to, to win. Maybe Kasich could come from the shadows and at least place. Who knows? On the Democratic side, yes, Bernie's people have more energy and more enthusiasm than Hillary's people. Hence his leads in the uh, biz Fox Business poll and also the Marquette poll. It could be that Bernie wins here and challenges Hillary in New York. It could happen. Those are my two cents. My two minutes are brought to you by Edge Construction and Capital Consultants. Bill McCashin, a lobbyist who worked for Tommy, who gets things done. We'll talk about this and more on the radio tomorrow at 8 on 92.1 FM The Mic. The Mitch Hank Show. Talk to you then.